I'd like to go over a little bit over the tracker control panels. So let's go ahead and go to the project panel and import a couple of files in here. Control or Command I and choose Moving Ball and Moving Ball Small and click on Open and there it is. Let's go ahead and drag that to the new comp icon at the bottom of the project panel and let's choose multiple compositions. In other words, one composition per clip. And there you go, we have both of them in there. Let's start with Moving Ball, double click it, and there it is. Go ahead and make this a little bit smaller, there you go. Right click the layer and choose Track Motion. The layer opens in the layer panel, and there you go. Let's go ahead and drag the tracking point to on top of the ball. Let's adjust this a little bit, make this a little bit larger. And there you go. Let me zoom out. And let's just analyze forward. And this is not working right. Let me go ahead and undo that. Control or Command Z. And let me adjust this a little bit. Just make it a little bit larger. And let's zoom out again. And let's analyze forward again. And we lost tracking there for a little bit. Let me choose the layer and press the letter U. And let's go to the part where we lost tracking, somewhere around there. It's good here, so let's go ahead and create a marker. Use the asterisk key. See the marker right there on the layer? And we lose it there, and we grab it again right there. So we know that in between where the marker is and where the CTI is, I'm going to place another marker there. Those keyframes are not good. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And let's go ahead and delete those keyframes. All right, let's do this again. Let's go frame by frame. And let's adjust this just a tiny little bit. You can manually adjust the tracker. And now it seems to be doing it fine, although we lost it there a little bit. Let's adjust it again. And that's pretty good. All right, so as we can see, it tracked that ball actually fairly well, a couple of snags here and there. Let me go ahead and zoom this out. Let's go ahead and try with the other ball, the small one. Double click moving ball small, the composition, and there it is. Now let's go ahead and track that. Right click the layer and choose track motion. And let's go ahead and adjust this a tiny little bit. And let's go ahead and track it. Let's analyze it forward. And it did a beautiful job tracking it. If you're having difficulty tracking it, click on the Options button. And you can choose different ways of tracking. You can tell the tracker to track by luminance information or saturation or even changes in the RGB info. You can even blur the image a little bit before tracking it or even enhance it. You do this if the tracking point is awfully small and you need to just make it a little bit larger for the tracker to work. You can choose to track fields. You can even have sub-pixel positioning that is positioning things in between pixels. You can even have After Effects guess where the next tracking point should be. If you select this, basically, if the confidence of the tracker moves below whatever threshold you set, the default is 80%, After Effects can either continue tracking 
stop it, or guess. Usually the guesses are pretty good. When you're done changing this, click OK, continue tracking. But I think you can tell that you can delete the keyframes, you can adjust the options, you can do a whole bunch of things so that your tracker is accurate each and every time.